and the pull off. Boxing news, John Walker to Eddie Hearn here in Las Vegas. Eddie, you obviously hoped that Eddie would pull off the upset, didn't, but his stock has risen. Yeah, massively. I'm so tight. proud of him. I mean, you know, I think uh, it was always a massive ask. You hope that, you know, as I said, Canelo might be getting a little bit old and, you know, he looks just himself in there tonight. But I thought Edgar was brilliant, you know, having never boxed anywhere near that level before, to go in there and be competitive. I know he was well beaten, but other than the flash knockdown, he wasn't really hurt and he took every shot in the kitchen sink from Canelo Alvarez, kept firing back, showed great boxing IQ and I think a star is born tonight for the division. I mean, if you look at the stars of 168 pounds outside of Canelo Alvarez, I put him up there, you know, right up there with the number one in the division. Eddie, there were a few moments in this fight and obviously you've worked with Canelo on a number of occasions previously where he showed signs of frustration. Well, what did you make? Yeah, because I think that was how good Edgar was. Like, his IQ's a lot better than people thought and, you know, his jab was very underrated in there. You know, his defence was good as well. He struggled to land that cleanly on him, but when he did, he didn't seem to put a dent in Edgar. You know, people talk about his chin, his heart. He showed all of that tonight, and he showed great boxing IQ. And, you know, he's really disappointed. Everyone keeps saying, yeah, your stock's, your stock's risen. He's just got beat. But the, the thing is, is when you drop down a level now, and you will because everybody is a level below Canelo Alvarez, you'll realise how much you learned in that ring tonight. And, you know, I think he's going to be in some massive fights in 2025. I think you mentioned up on the press, after the fight in the press conference, you see him as the number one behind Canelo. Yeah, like, like in terms of commercial value. I mean, look, he's... The kid's flashy, he looks the part, he really spoke well this week, you know, he's got Puerto Rico behind him, he's got New York behind him, he's always done big numbers, and I think fresh off that defeat, off that defeat, you know, I think he's gonna gonna be a major player in the division. Jaime Munguia, great fight. Caleb Plant, great fight. Diego Pacheco, he's gonna be chasing guys like Edgar Belanga as well. A Charlo. There's massive fights out there to make and he'll be back early next year, headlining. And, and, you know, it kind of feels like almost like we've got a new signing because I really feel like he's a massive star in the division. The Plant fight in particular is one which could be interesting. Yeah. I had the back and forth. Plant coming back with victory, both obviously opponents of Canelo. It could be a massive fight. Massive, you know, both great characters, both great fighters. You know, it's a tough fight for both. And the Munguia fight as well, another Puerto Rico v Mexico fight. Be a huge event. Just two to quickly ask on. You fight Edwards done November 30th. Yeah, man, very pleased. One, because we'll be back down a railway tavern. <laughs> But two, that's the kind of fights we want to make. You know, putting guys in in 50-50 fights, you can't split those two. Two world-class lightweights. You know, we're going to announce next week, but I'll tell you that's going to be for the interim world title as well with the WBC. The winner's going to go on and fight for the world championship. So a massive night for both. Huge night for British boxing. Another big show in Birmingham. Um, final one as well, after we saw the reports that Liam Smith, Josh Kelly not going ahead next week, what can you tell us? Not a lot. You know, I think um, His Excellency will comment on that when the time is right. I know that he'll want to uh, potentially add another fight to the card. We'll see if that's possible. We're working, myself and, and Frank Smith over there on the phone now, and uh, Spencer Brown and everybody involved in Queensbury to, to see what's what. And um, yeah, hopefully give you guys some news on that early next week. Any final one just on Joshua Dubai next week? Get ready. Massive night for British boxing, 96,000 people. Huge night for AJ. The, the fight week's gonna be incredible. We'll see you all there.